The Manic Street Preachers were a huge band in the 1990s. They formed, of course, in the 1980s, lost a guitarist and singer, and managed to push on through and come out of the other side of Britpop. So this Welsh band have had many huge hits. The one that I'm going to go through today is Everything Must Go. So this song is in standard tuning. There aren't too many chords in this particular song, okay? I think there's only four or five. This makes it perfect for beginners. So the first chord is this uh, A minor E. Now you can play it as, an, uh, as here. So A minor and let all six strings ring out. That's fine. If you want to do it that way, you can. But um, the easy way to play it, the way that it's played um, by James Dean Bradfield, is just um, if you pretend that you've got an, well, not pretend, but if you make an A minor bar at the fifth fret, get rid of these fingers completely, pull this down here, strings one, two, and three. That's it, okay? That's the opening chord. So A minor forward slash E, I think, is the chord, but. Okay, if you know the song, you'll know that uh, that rings out and then the drums are coming in and it's, uh, it's a really great um, orchestral sound. The next chord is E major seventh. Now if you're playing down here, going from the A minor, then E major seventh uh, would be here. You can also play E major seventh up here. So that's an E, that's an E seventh, that's an E major seventh. Nice thick sound, isn't it? But again, not used in the original recording. It just goes from that original chord, A minor E, down to here. As a beginner, we cannot ask for more than that, okay? So the easy way to play the whole lot of that opening is put your two fingers, so your first finger, fretting strings one, two, and three at the fourth fret, finger number two, fretting strings one, two, and three at the fifth fret. This is great, isn't it, for beginners? Really, really straightforward stuff, okay? So let it ring out, the A minor E, and then you take that off, and that's E major seventh, would you believe? Okay, so let's do a couple of those. Okay, that's it, that's the intro, done. Not many easier intros than that, I wouldn't imagine. You only move in your finger once. Okay, then it goes on into the verse. So it carries on, same two chords, okay? So repeat that twice, and then we make this chord. So this is a C sharp minor seventh. Yeah, also a D flat minor seventh if you want to think about going down the fretboard like that. Um, so what we're doing, we're barring strings one to five at the fourth fret, second finger on the second string fifth fret, and then third finger on the fourth string at the sixth fret. Okay, so let's hear that. A much thicker sound now. And then A minor. If you want to go here for A minor, if it's easier. That's fine, as you wish. If it's easier to go from here. That's fine as well. Okay, so let's put that together then. So A minor 4 slash E, E major 7th. A minor 4 slash E, E major 7th. C sharp minor 7th. D flat minor seventh, A minor. That's the verse. Okay, I'm just going to play that through then. Okay, now for the good bit, that anthemic chorus. Here we go. So it's E. And I just hope you can forgive us. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry. 
getting carried away. I'll, I'll just stick to the guitar. Okay, so it's E. So A minor. To D. Everything must go back to E. Okay, let's play that. Um, strumming patterns for this depends on what you're playing through. If you've got um, your amp cranked up, one downstroke might be fine. If you want to get a bit more busy with it, then um, an, an up and a down. Uh, in the live versions, it's definitely uh, this up, down, up, down, up, down, up movement. Okay, but um, again, it depends what stage you're at. But let's let's just play that through. Okay, so come out of that. <laughs> chorus okay uh, up to you again with that um, like I say you can get away with a couple of downstrokes with that but uh, listen to the original recording as always to really get that rhythm down um, there's a couple of notes that are played as well, so let's uh, have a look at those because they're quite easy um, and I think that would really enhance the playing of this song for you, especially if you're playing to an audience, okay? And there are certain telltale signs between, you know, people who are brand new to playing guitar and people who have been playing a little bit longer. Uh, so, that, so this would be one of them for this song. You know, guitarists would be looking out for this type of thing. So let's hear it. So it's an E. Forgive us. And then it. And then D. And that little riff again. I don't know if you call that a riff, we're just playing notes, okay? So it's um, just this open E, open six string twice. Two on the third fret of the six string. And then two on the D here. That's the fifth string, fifth fret. So. Okay. But everything must go. See, it's not, it's not too difficult, that bit, is it? You're only really... I mean, really, all you're doing is a G fifth chord, okay? Nice, though, isn't it? Okay. Anyway, let's carry on. Where are we up to? Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do that through. Uh, the, the second part to the chorus is E, D, B minor, and A. But again, I'm going to show you a little bit of um, of a riff because it sounds brilliant. Uh, but also, I think sometimes the chords. You know, we don't always need to play the chords in these verses when there is a really good alternative in note form. I'll show you that shortly and it'll make sense, okay? So. And then the second part. Second time around, we're going to go to that D, and then we're going to hammer on. So all that hammer on means is we finger that note, and then we play that note, and then we we flick down to the higher string with our third finger. Okay, so I'm going to pl play this this note here, the D. So that's fifth fret, fifth string, but I'm going to hammer down here with my third finger on the seventh fret, fifth string. And I'm going to play that again, that note on its own. So hammer on, play, then come down to this B, seventh fret, sixth string, then the A, then the G. difficult riff 
if it even is a, if it, even if it's only a few notes, I don't know if it, even if it is a riff, okay. So on the fifth string there, hammer on and then and then play this note once. Then on the sixth string, seventh fret, fifth fret, third fret, back to the fifth. to go back to the verse, okay, that A minor, E. song as I said earlier always play along with the original recording to get the exact uh, timings and rhythms but uh, those chords and selected notes will get you up and running 